Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 3. Last time, we got the quest The Nasties from Zakuba aboard the uh, Stelethanos, so let's go ahead and start that. It's over here in the Channel Cave. Also, at this point, Dual Flare kills everything. So I'm not going to show any more random battles, because pretty much everything can just be flared to death. But I will still show event battles, um, as well as um, boss battles and things like that. It just... I, I see no reason to show them, uh, let alone talk about the monsters themselves, whenever they never get a turn to do anything against me, and uh, they're just so easily dispatched, because Flare hits everything, and it hits for non-elemental damage on top of that. So, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So, head on down here, and grab some more treasure. Also, um, we're going to be doing some more different quests, besides just the nasties today. If we don't finish them... We will, at the very least, start them, because, um, they do take place in the future. So, we're gonna start the quests here on the Pure Land, and then we're gonna head back to the future, and we're gonna do those other quests. And then there's also more quests that we haven't yet done in the past, present, and future, and we're gonna go ahead and knock all those out as well. What's this? Is something wrong, Arthur? No, it's just that there was a letter inside the chest. Huh, it says, Dear Slow Pokey Slow Pokes. Oh, so close. Better luck next time. <laughs> what a moron. Oh, how rude. This must be the work of those fairy sisters. Yeah, stupid letter like this sounds just like something that they would do. So what if we use the Cures of Time to go back? I think that we might find them, but I can't know for sure. Why? What's the problem? Do you remember what the letter said? They've been trying to trick us all along. Well, yeah, but maybe they're trying to trick us into using the Gears of Time, too. Agreed. Giving up and not falling for their tricks is the best way to deal with those two. I don't know. If we don't finish this, that means that they've just made fools of us again. That's right. This could be your only shot to get even. And we actually want to go back in time. Yeah, let's show a little enthusiasm. Okay. Yeah, seriously, smack these bitches down. I am so sick of their crap. Ah, oh, there they are. All done here, big sister. I wish I could see the big dumb looks in their big dumb faces when they open this chest. We've got you now, you little twerps. No way, Arthur, how'd you know my name? It was a simple matter. After we met, I followed you, listened in on your conversations, and wrote it down. Wow, what a smart idea. What is this, the annoying fairy fan club? No, it isn't. What do you two have to say for fooling us like that? Ah, uh, fool you twice, shame on you. Sorry to interrupt your gloating, big sister, but I never actually deceived them. Oh, really? Indeed. They asked me if I'd seen any strange colored monsters, so all I did tell them was that about a cat monster with black and blue bruises. Oh, so they should be blaming nobody but themselves. Shut up! I've had enough of your stupid logic and stuff. We'll show you there are more important things in the world than playing games with logic gonna beat your crooked ways into shape, so get ready. Huh? Haven't you, why, haven't you given it a rest already? Fat lot of good you did getting rid of those two hideous uglies, but you still want to tangle us with this anyway? If that's how you want it, you better give it everything that you've got. And here we are against the Pixie and the Sylph, and they're actually pretty decently difficult, I've got to say. So the Sylph uh, reflects magic, and the Pixie is immune to physicals. So we want to use our physicals against the self. There we go. And uh, we'll use flare against the both. Hopefully it's not going to reflect the flare. If it reflects the flare, I'm screwed. And uh, let's see, we're using the physical tempest against the self. There we go. And let's see, I'll have you use your Gaia blade uh, against the self as well. So hopefully this goes three, through. We shall see. Because basically you have to use... Physical against one, and magic against the other. Holy crap! They can deal a shit ton of damage to you. Okay, so... Doing okay, doing okay. Please don't reflect. Sweet! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Awesome. I am gonna have to heal, though. You know what? Let's use a present drive, also. Hey, hey! Ooh! And I sparked Heaven's Drive. Yeah, against you. You pain in the ass. Bye, bitch! Bye! Ah, and we all survived, too. Awesome. Yeah, let's use an auto-heal. Definitely. Ugh. Oh, they were tougher than they looked. Well then, all settled? Yeah, we'll grab them both and return forward in time. 
Oh yes, we'll work them hard indeed. Oh, you're creeping me out. <laughs> okay, awesome. So uh, we got that. And I'm going to head back to the ship and uh, turn them in. And then we're going to get the other quests that, um, that we can do here. Um, and then move on. Move back to the future. Sakuba, we brought back those fairy sisters. Did you want to take a look at them? Of course. Let's see. They're even more powerful than I expected. They should prove quite useful. I've installed a new system for the Stilethanos, the Shield Generator. Oh, what's that? When you use the Shield Generator, your party will be protected from various elemental and status attacks for three turns. I've accomplished this by fastening those fairies to the cannons. <laughs> Wait, maybe that's kind of sad, actually. Awesome. So, yeah, that is kind of sad, but hey. Um, although that Shield Generator would come in handy, I have those magic jewels which make me immune to status ailments anyway, so I'm not going to bother with it. But uh, we can get another quest from Barzai. Hey, what sort of magic did you use to seal Pagos? It's a chant of absolution that was handed down to this world. By reciting the prescribed chant, the spirits of the party can be freed from curses. Uh, would that work on human souls too? It's possible, why do you ask? You remember, right Arthur? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. There's a pirate in our world who stayed too long, and now he can't move on to the next world. You could release him too, couldn't you? A simple request. I'll be happy to accompany you anytime. The captain should be done with his journey. I wonder how he's doing. Hey, hey! Yeah, so we have to go back to the Black Diamond, um, back in the future, to deal with that one pirate. And we're going to start the Limits of Pride, but we have another quest from the King um, of Stratus. So I'm going to meet you in uh, his throne room and catch you there. Oh, but also it's a password. Um, it, it's a password quest, so um, make sure that you put that password in. The password is actually in the video description. I'm not going to show it entering it on screen, so yeah. You said you came from the other world, correct? We did. In that case, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like you to look for a childhood friend of mine and deliver this letter to her. Well, not that we mind, but wouldn't it be faster to send one of your retainers to do it? If she dwelled in this world, I would do so. But she doesn't? I'd appreciate it if you kept this confidential, even from my vassals. The truth is, I'm from the other world, just like you are. Monsters kidnapped me when I was a child and brought me to this world. So that means that your childhood friend must be... from the other world? Yes, she is. I haven't seen her in so long. I hope that she's doing well. I can't go back to the other world myself. My duty as a king is to remain here. But the least that I could do is to let her know that I'm safe. Will you accept my request? Of course. Okay, got the king's letter. So who should we look for? Her name is Metis. She's probably grown up to become a young lady by now. Do you know where we might find her? There's a town at the north end of the western continent. Got it. Thank you and Godspeed. Well, off to Irem we go! I'm back in future Irem, and uh, what you want to do first is go all the way down here and talk to Kronos, because Grandma is asleep, and it's Grandma who the king is actually in love with. Oh, welcome back. What can I do for you? We're looking for a lady named Metis. Oh, I've heard that name somewhere. You have? That's right. Metis is Grandma's name. Oh, really? Guess she's not a young lady like the king thought. This must be a result of time not flowing in the other world. Kind of sad, huh? Anyway, we need to see if Grandma's really King Karanis' friend. There's still a chance that we're looking for someone else with the same name. Okay, then. Oh, wait, please. Grandma's in no condition to talk right now. She's been fast asleep for two straight days. Did she get sick? How bad is it? It comes and goes for her. It's just age, I'm sure. If you say so. I'm sure that she's fine. That's right. Let's head for the inn already. Okay. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that you have two time charges. I had to grind a little bit uh, to get my Gears of Time up to two because I used a present drive against those bastard fairies earlier. So, yeah, just do that in the pure land before you warp over, and you'll be fine. She's still asleep. Guess that leaves us no choice. We'll have to leave the letter with Kronos and go back on our journey. Oh, but wait, what if we try the Gears of Time? Oh, what do you mean? Well, she was awake two days ago, right? So we should go back in time and give the letter to her. I bet reading this letter from her old friend will make her feel better, too. Oh, I see. Yeah, totally go back in time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just go with it. Why not? It really doesn't matter at this point. We went back in time for other s more stupid reasons. Grandma, are you awake? Sharon, we brought a letter from an old childhood friend of yours, Grandma. Oh, dearie, that's sweet, but you don't have to lie like that. Grandma's very old and all of her friends are long gone. Here, take a look. 
Oh, it's sweet you're trying to cheer Grandma up, but there's no point trying to fool. Oh, my. That bozo! Still living without a care in his tiny pinhead! <laughs> She's pissed. <laughs> Sorry you had to see Grandma like that, Arthur. Don't worry about it. Besides, you sound like you're feeling stronger now. Indeed. So the bozo's still alive. He could have been dead for all Grandma cared. I wonder what really happened between them. It's probably better if we don't know. Well then, uh, we should be going soon. Wait just a moment, Arthur. Uh, what is it? Knowing that man, he has no intention of rewarding you for his, your hard work. So instead, I want you to have this. Uh, hey, we get a strength source. Awesome. You sure? Please, take it. That man's still an old friend of mine, so it's the least that I can do to make up for him. Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well then, be careful on your journey, dearies. We will. But what are we going to tell the king? We'll have to bend the truth a little. I think that we should tell him that she's as beautiful as he remembers her. How are you going to pull that whopper off? <laughs> I'll think of something. Is this the shipwreck you said that you that had the lost captain? It is. He should be in the captain's cabin. Very well. After you. Okay, well, let's head on down there. Um, if I get in any battles, I'll just cut to where he is. And I can't believe that there's a chest down here that I missed. I'm totally going to grab it. Yeah, I figured I would do this first for the sake of efficiency before I went and spoke to uh, the king. So we'll finish up this quest, I'll go back to Pure Land, I'll talk to the king, and then we'll head back to the present, past, future to do various quests. Ooh, there's an excavation point that I missed too, seriously? Man. Hey, hey, get the clad crystal, nice. Oh, you know what? This could be a brand new area now that I really think about it, because I don't think that we explored the shipwreck in the, um, in the uh, future. I think that we explored it in the past, so maybe that's why. Hey, hey. What do we have here? Awesome, get the Gale Crystal. And here he is, let's talk to him. It's been a while, Captain. Oh, who are you? Did you already forget about the one that you recognize as a worthy opponent? No, I don't think that we've met. Well, it's okay. We brought someone here I think that you'll be glad to see. You'd like me to release this person, right? Yes, please, if you would. Oh, uh, what? Uh-oh. Wait a second, that spell's dangerous! This doesn't suit you, Captain. You already decided to move on to the next world after battling with us. That's because I'm not the Captain. I'm the first mate of this ship. A uh, case of mistaken identity, it seems. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so it seems. You're not going to finish that spell, right? Not releasing the right skeleton would be a pretty wrong scold of you. Sorry about that, but about the Captain? Oh, well, he went to visit his old war buddy ship. Another ship? It's the shipwreck you'll find if you go southwest from this ship. I think you'll recognize it easily. It's pretty conspicuous. Well, thanks. Yeah, so off we go. So we have to go to the battleship Annie Rosa, which is a brand new ship for us. So I'm just going to meet you there. Do you think that this is the shipwreck the captain's visiting? There's no doubt. I'm getting an ominous feeling from inside. Okay, then. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, let's... Whoa! Tons of monsters! Okay, well, this is a brand new ship that we haven't been to in any other time period. Got a gun right there, so 44 Magnum. And go over here, and what do we have? Ooh, a flash fist! Whoa! I'll have to check that out whenever uh, I'm not running for my life. Uh, let's see. Whoa! Oh hell. Fist is pretty decent, but I still think that that mountain storm is a bit better. That ominous feeling is coming from inside this room. There are voices coming in from inside, too. Do you remember that terrible battle, Commander? I remember it well. A terrible battle it was. Thanks to the regular Navy's incompetence, our ships were attacked on both sides. Many good men were lost that day. We were never afraid to die, but dying pointlessly, that's different. Spoken well and true, leave the pointless death to the squids in the Navy. Things are getting a little rowdy in there. Maybe they've been drinking? Yes, I've seen it before. Seen it? More like you've done it, I bet. So skeletons really do chatter. Maybe we should watch them a little longer, Arthur. Sounds good. Oh, there are more coming. We'd better hide. Oh, sorry, we're late. It's okay. You're just in time. We're about to get to the best part of the war story. Today, we celebrate together and drink away all the grief the Navy gave us. I was a decorated officer of the Navy, though. Don't worry. We're all retired here. That makes us equals. Well then, count me in. Maybe we should finish this before even more of them show up. Okay. Uh, maybe we shouldn't take their lives into our own hands. 
uh, they seem fine. They're just having a good time. They're just talking about old times. Captain! Hey, what are you answering for? I'm the captain here. Oh, that's right. I'm actually a commander. And I'm a commodore. And I'm an admiral. Uh, we're all called captain on our own ship, so we're still used to answering, eh? Eh, you sorry sea dogs. This is bad. They're totally wasted. They sure do seem that way. So why don't we just release them now? I agree. Let's get it over with. It won't do us any good to put it off. Well then, to what do I owe the pleasure this day, my worthy opponent? Oh, you remember me. Of course I do, obviously. I waited all my life for a worthy opponent. How could I forget? Alright, I'll get to the point. We came today to release you. What? You want to lift the curse of my spirit, you say? Don't say such silly things, youngster. If you did that, the capital would be gone forever. We may be skeletons, but we still have a right to exist. Whatever you call it, if you're looking to break those old bones, get ready for a fight. Please, just calm down. Calm down? Think we're just going to calm down? We'll stand firm until the end against your aggression. We don't intend to release the captain against his will at all. This is what the captain said that he wanted. Oh, you wanted to be released, captain? Once the captain experienced battle with us, he decided to cut his attachment to this world and rejoin his queen. Isn't that right, captain? This isn't true, is it, captain? Surely you're lying. You discussed such a big decision with me first, right? They are lying, aren't they? Say they're lying, Captain! Uh, it's the truth. I did intend to tell them that I wished to hurry to His Majesty's side. However... I've changed my ways. Huh? The new me would never make such a lapse in judgment, even for a moment. I want nothing but to spend my remaining years with you, my friends. Very well said, Captain. And I won't ever make that mistake either. You can tell that to Her Majesty the Queen in Heaven. The four of us have wanted this since the day that we were born. May we live until the same moment of the same hour of the same day. All for one, and one for all. They've gotten all riled up over themselves somehow. They'd be better off realizing they've lost their way in this world. It's a pain, but still, maybe we should send them all off at once. Aren't there a few too many of them, though? Maybe so. Why? What if we use the gears of time? Going back before the other skeletons got here would make it easier, don't you think? Um, and what you actually want to do here is just get it over with. It doesn't have to be this way, does it? Just get it over with. So the talks have broken down, boy. Make no mistake this time. I'll have your heads. Okay, these guys are incredibly difficult. I've already died to them twice. Do not underestimate them under any circumstances. First of all, I'm going to switch over to the future drive. And let's see, we're going to use uh, Heaven's Drive against you. We're going to use Flare. And I'm going to have you use Flare as well, because it hits all of them. We'll have you use your Tempest, and I'm going to have you on Healing Duty. There we go. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so we should be good for right now. Okay, you survived. We're fine. You survived, thank God. And we get a cure. Sweet! Okay, so... Oh, why is it Futuring Sharon? I don't want to Future Sharon. I want to Future somebody else. Eh, that's fine. Whatever. I was hoping to future, um, Gloria. Eh. Oh well. Can I future again? Ugh, I wanted to future drive those, um... You know what? I could move over to present. Just use a present drive. Let's use a present drive. I'll use it against you. There we go. That kind of sucked. Eh, oh well. But yeah. Basically, you want to get rid of these guys as fast as humanly possible. If you need to use future drives, present drives, past drives, whatever the hell you need to do, do it. Because these guys are no joke at all. And the problem is, is that for Gloria and Curtis, you want them flaring. You... Oh, thank God you survived. You really do not want them wasting their time healing. Um, so that's why I put Dior on healing duty so that the rest of them can flare because it's the only way that you can hit all of them at the same time, and it deals so much damage. It's really nice. Um, I think that we're doing much, much better this time around. Yeah, the first two times going through this, I died a horrible, 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 painful death. And I may actually include that in the end slate if you want to see it, because, um, you know, people seem to like it whenever I fuck up for whatever reason. I don't know why you guys like to see me get screwed over constantly, but it seems that every time that, you know, things don't go my way, the comment section explodes with, you know, <laughs> everybody laughing at me or joining in my pain. I don't know. So, yeah. 
But anyway, we killed these guys. And I'm also going to go see that king, too. So we have plenty. This is going to be a long episode. It can't be. Even all four of us could not win. Your skills improved, boy. Or maybe you've gotten weaker. Uh, we have the right one this time, yes? Yeah, he's the one. Who's this man? He made a special trip here just to release your soul. Just for me. You would have been glad to see him, though, if you hadn't changed your mind. All the way here, just for me. I understand now. You showed guts, so I'll have some guts and face death like a man. Death? A little late for that. It's just release. But there's one other problem. Her Majesty's temper. You might say the royal guns fire on a short fuse. Since I've delayed for so long, there's no telling what punishment I'll face. There's only one possible solution, my friends. I can't bear to go alone, so someone has to come with me. Surely you're not asking us to go too? You want someone to join you on Her Majesty's whipping post? Well then, Commodore, you go with him. Huh? Don't be absurd. I still have lots of life left to enjoy. The Admiral should accompany him as a representative of the Navy. Nonsense. I'll do no such thing. Why should an officer of the Navy be forced into a privateer's problem? Well, what's this? None of you will come with me? So shall I remain as well? What are you saying? Just because none of us wants to go with you, you won't go either? It's just that I... Disgraceful. This is hard to watch. Still, I can wait as long as you need me to. Thanks, but... We've gone through enough trouble already. Please, release them and finish this. As you wish. Whoa, what is this? It feels good, somehow. So this is release? If you want to go back and look at it, his spell is actually Please Enjoy the Saga series backwards. I'm glad that they showed their true feelings in the end, I guess. Very well. My work is finished here. Oh, thank you. Let's head back to the Selethanos. Oh, something dropped here. Hey, get the Queen's Medal and the Sailor's Bandana. And we finished up Limits of Pride. Awesome. So, uh, let's check those things out. They're various accessories, and they're decent. They're nothing like magic jewels, but, yeah, they're there. This resists magic, and this resists physicals. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, you know what, actually, what I'm gonna do? Let's put that on him, and I'm gonna give one to Curtis and one to Gloria. It really doesn't matter which one you give to the uh, the other ones, but they need the most protection. Um, totally. Where did it go to? There it is. Awesome. So yeah, I'm going to uh, meet you at the King. Oh, good. I've been expecting you. Delivered my letter to Metis, I presume. We did. She got it safe and sound. Well, how did it go? Was she happy to find out that I'm still okay? Uh, of course. She got really excited. And I'm sure she's going to become a beautiful young lady, right? Uh, sure. Looks like a stop o'clock. Anyway, gotta go. See ya. Yeah. And uh, next time we're going to continue on with various quests back in the uh, past, present, and future. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. Also, the uh, the deaths, I think I'm just going to put those into a bonus episode because this episode is going to be way too long with all that stuff going on.